Today is Wednesday, June 8. I'm Pastor Anthony, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Today our text comes from Psalm 26. Vindicate me, Lord, for I have led a blameless life. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Test me, Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind, for I have always been mindful of your unfailing love and have lived in reliance on your faithfulness. That's Psalm 26, verses 1 through 3. This psalm, like any number of others, gives us pause. Who of us would dare say such a thing to God? But while it might seem strange in ordinary times, there are situations that crop up in our lives like a tragic death, a betrayal in a close relationship, or the cancer word, where all of a sudden it's not so strange. In those situations, we might quite naturally find ourselves crying out to God, asking what it is that we have done to deserve such pain and suffering being thrust into our lives. That's a way of praying in the vein of Psalm 26. Vindicate me, Lord. I have led a blameless life. There are some events and realities in our lives that are bigger than us, out of our control, perhaps more of them than we might think or like to admit. And when we realize our lack of control, we realize that we have need of God, a God who can save us, or in unfair and unjust situations, a God who can judge rightly and vindicate us, which is salvation all the same. The psalm is a prayer prayed in the face of an evil world that dishes out things that we do not deserve and cannot solve on our own strength. And this is a psalm that does what it says, that relies on God fully and solely for vindication and salvation. It strikes me more often these days that this is exactly the life that Jesus lived. Even though he had all the power and ability to control on his side, He did not wield it against his oppressors, the Sanhedrin and Romans that condemned and crucified him. He could have saved himself, but he did not. He could have vindicated himself, but he did not. Instead, he gave up his power and control, humbled himself, and submitted himself to the just judgment of God the Father. And God the Father did vindicate him by raising him from the dead on the third day, proving Jesus' innocence and righteousness in the process. This is the Jesus that we trust in, the Jesus whose life, righteousness, and vindication has become our own. And as we continue to rely on his vindication and salvation, we remain connected with the reality of things, the reality that our situation is bigger than us, such that we need God, that our life is a gift of God, and that the invitation of our living is to respond in congruence with the righteousness of Christ that we have received from God. We cannot control the events or realities that we face in our lives. We can entrust ourselves to the God who in Christ has saved us and who continues to save us. As you journey on, go with this blessing. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.